Yeah, what the hell do you think you're doing? Don't Christmas mean nothing to you? I think you'll find I'm in charge on this wing. That does not give you the right to take away our Christmas tree. And I think you'll find it's a violation of our human rights. Mm. Everyone. That whiskey was bloody good last night. I must still be drunk. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get the tree decorated and ready for lunch. And bring Kerrigan back up the block. This is going to be the best Christmas that Lark Hall has ever seen. I'm going to name her after Bev. Mm? If it weren't for her last night. <laughs> She's given me the best Christmas present ever. Beverly Janine, because she's beautiful, just like her mum. Yeah, well, she ain't going to be like her mum. She ain't going to end up in a shithole like this, that's for sure. Yes, it is. It's the Christmas spirit here, girls. Oh, Everyone's in the way like that. Oh, that's great. Right. What the dickens has got into her body bag, Jo? Why do you think she's bleeding another Christmas? Girls, look! I've got wine! I mean, it's probably low alcohol, but booze is booze, eh? Maybe she's got a brain tumour. Driven her loopy. <laughs> that would be a Christmas miracle. Hi, this is Bobby Darren. Leave a message and I'll call you back. H Hello, Bobby Darren. Are you there? Please pick up the phone. I'm, I'm sorry about yesterday. Not only yesterday. I know I can be a narrow-minded old battleaxe, -like, but it's just the way I am. Doesn't mean to say I ever stop loving you. Some things that I, I just simply don't understand, that's all. And I hope you understand that. I, I've got a few things to take care of at work today, but I do hope that you and Brian have a lovely Christmas together. <laughs> Wasn't that his skull? And a load of her hair. God, I nearly shit myself. Not you notice, there was loads down there already. Mm. Well, punk girls. Oh, yeah. Just tell you. Saunders! Come with me. What, miss? What is it? Just do as you're told. What you done, miss? Come on, hurry up. Merry Christmas, Mum. Oh, David. Baby Shanty. We had a phone call from Mrs. Hollenby. <laughs> and as the shanty's cold cleared up overnight. Oh, Mrs. Hollenby. Oh, I don't know what to say. I lost my husband, Bobby. I thought it was the end of the world as well. He died. He didn't run off with some dyke slut. No. He killed himself. And left me in awful trouble. I think that's just as much a betrayal. Mandy. I know I was insensitive yesterday. Shove it, Sylvia. You're glad Sandy walked out on us. Face it, dykes turn your stomach. Oh, for goodness sake. It doesn't matter tuppence what I think about what you get up to in the bedroom, does it? I might not like it, but it's none of my business. If you were in love with Sandy, then you were in love with her. What you need now is a friend. And if the truth be told, <laughs> so do I. Hey, 
Do you want a drink, miss? Merry Christmas, Ashanti. He's a special little friend to keep till you're grown up and got kiddies of your own. Ask you something. Do you think Natalie Brookston's dead? What? How should I know? She escaped, didn't she? As far as we know. But the police have never caught as much as a sniff of her. I never thought Brookston was that clever. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe a kid she abused in the past caught up with her, gave her what she deserved. Who knows? Be Darren! I got your message, Mum. This is, uh... Brian. Sorry about the uniform. I've come straight off duty. I really wanted to see you for Christmas, Mum. You've made my day. Enough bloody Christmas music! Listen, they're playing our tune. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Mrs. Holloway. Helping Janine give birth was a really life-changing experience for us. And we were thinking we'd we'd really rather like to train as midwives. <sighs> I imagine it would mean some sort of tagged release to a local hospital. <laughs> midwives. Do I look that much of a mug? And you've already had a bottle of whiskey off Santa, haven't you? Make the most of Christmas, you two. Soon as it's over, it's back to business as usual.